Hey everybody, I'm Chris Kiefer with Racer X Films, and this is the 2020 version of Bikes of Supercross. All right, guys, look who this is right here. Number one, Cooper Webb, factory KTM machine, Red Bull KTM. I'm excited about this bike. Every time I see a KTM, just makes me want to go ride dirt bikes. I don't know if you guys have that at home, but man, if there's one bike in the paddock that makes me want to go ride a dirt bike, it's this machine here. We'll start up on the front end here. Obviously, big. 52 millimeter WP forks. You cannot get these. I know we've talked about a little bit about, hey, some guys can actually rent these out or buy these. No, you cannot. This is only for factory teams or Team Tedder. Big, big bump stick right here. What this is going to do, it's really going to help a rider like Cooper slam in the jumps, get into whoops, and anything that he hits with force, this bike will have a lot of comfort. So very important up here. Of course, kite hubs, very durable, very tough. And you guys could get a close-up on this tire. It looks like an MX-33, but it's not. It's actually a spec tire. So what that is is a different carcass. Let these guys really help their lean angle coming into corners. Um, working through the brake system, factory Brembo brakes. Probably nothing else better on a bike right now than a Brembo brake. Um, I know I've talked about other bikes having Brembos, put them on their Japanese bikes. A lot of guys are doing that, but Brembo brakes, very, very good. Not as touchy as other brakes. So working our way back what i've been told from ryan morris ryan morris is the factory r d rider here cooper is on a stock offset there's not a different race inside of here so what you see is what you get hard part clamp titanium bolts stock offset pretty cool i've also been told that this bike is more stockish than you would think obviously down here at the frame there is a little bit of a gusset and also a frame to help a little bit more positivity in the corners give a little bit more front and feel for these guys stock tank obviously a different little cool little gas cap and of course we're on a military theme this weekend Renthal's got a new bar pad Cooper is on an 821A bar bend and for what I'm told same thing as the 821 bend but the A stands for a special Cooper bend which is just a little bit narrower in the width area of course, Sella Della Valle. It's really tough to say, but I try really hard. It's a seat. This thing will eat your butt up. Very, very grippy, very, very spiky, but for these guys, they need to be put in place. They're seat bouncing things. They need some traction, and that's where the traction is, right up on top. Factory engine. I try to get some information for you guys. Very tough to do. They're not kind of tight-lipped about that situation, but I do know that, of course, you have Pankel transmission, same thing as stock different top end, obviously head work done in-house, very, very sensitive for these guys. They all like a different type of power. Moving to the bottom of the bike, these pegs are sharp. Nihilo pegs, these things will rip your boots in half. If you guys have a fresh pair of soles, they'll be gone in about two rides, trust me. Going back, obviously, gearing is up to Cooper Webb's. Um, basically, I would, from what I'm told, is Cooper is not a big revving type of rider, so his gearing you know, approaches that situation for him at each track. Now, Akropovich, that's how you say it. This is the name. I got yelled at so many times because I say Akropovic. Akropovich is the muffler supplier for factory KTM and it's custom bent head pipe as well as muffler for what kind of suits their needs in the engine department. WP exact factory shock, dual adjusters. You're moving on down here, different pull rod, not the same as stock and also you got these beefy Brembo factory brakes in the back. The thing that I really appreciate about Cooper's bike is just the, the how clean it is. And when you sit on it, which we'll talk about here in a little bit, there's a couple things that I really like to see. Um, engine mounts, I wanna run by that real quick. He uses stock engine mounts. He's tried other engine mounts just like the Rocky Mountain team, but he preferred stock. And moving here underneath the cradle, is a nice seamless carbon fiber skid plate. This thing is Sano. So when these guys case the jumps, it doesn't suck into the frame. This thing's already recessed inside the frame, so it's nice and streamlined. Little details of factory bikes is what I like. And obviously the orange frame. For me, the orange frame pops. I wish KTMs always came with orange frames because it just looks that much better. All right, guys, this is what you might've been waiting for here. I like football. I wish I could get on a football field. I never can. I just want to know what the grass feels like. Look at Cooper Webb's bike. I'm 5'11", 6 foot. He has a low bar bend feel. His rider triangle is kind of small, obviously, because Cooper is a short 
rider in his stature. What I do notice is on his hydraulic clutch, his lever is almost like has like a bead blasting. If you guys are familiar with that kind of uh, material, when you bead blast something, it has like a grippy little stiction to it. And this is what this clutch lever feels like. It's like a bead blast material. You get a lot of traction, skinnier than normal size levers. And he loves, apparently, he loves his front brake further in to the throttle. So for me, my hands are a little bit longer. I would like my front brake out, but Cooper maybe has a little bit uh, shorter of fingers. That's really close to the throttle. And one thing I want to note as well, Coop likes zero play in his throttle. I like a little play because I'm going to get whiskey throttle. Cooper doesn't care. He wants that bottom in. He wants that immediate response out of corners. No play in the throttle. Makes you want to go ride. Cooper Webb's bike. Look for him tonight, San Diego. All right. Military theme this weekend, San Diego. Blake Baggett, number four. Man, what an awesome ride he had going in Oakland. Austin Kent, he's Iowa. Look at him. You can just look this guy from Iowa. It's awesome. So you guys know that the Rocky Mountain KTM team shares factory parts with KTM. Obviously, the factory Red Bull team over there. Same engine, factory suspension, but there is a lot of unique parts to this bike, unlike the Red Bull team. So Austin and I are going to BS a little bit about some of those things and talk about how that relates to Blake on the track because I got a lot to say about Blake and the whoop. So Austin, come on in here for a sec. Let's talk about the unique parts versus the Red Bull team. Uh, we definitely run a lot of the same stuff, but mostly like, you know, we run our sponsor stuff like our, we feel like the x tricks are really good. Blake really likes to feel those. We don't run any tie in the front end as in pinch bolts or none of that stuff because he doesn't like the way the rigid tie feels. So talk to us a little bit about these engine mounts. Something unique, they're carbon fiber. This is something new for you guys this weekend? Uh, yeah, we ran them in practice last week. Or uh, no, Phoenix. But the way the whoops were, they were kind of sharp and not real round and didn't have much traction. So we kind of we went back to the stock hangers thinking that we were going to get that that feel back for them. But I don't think it really ever changed anything. So we did some suspension testing after Phoenix and got it much – Got did a lot of work with the – uh, with the suspension and got it way better in the whoops for him. So then we tried these hangers again yesterday and it was equal in the whoops and if and definitely better feel all the way around the track. So, so the question remains, we have watched Cooper Webb going through the whoops and then you watch Blake. So different. Blake kills the whoops. And a lot of you guys at home say, oh, it must be the KTM, must be the steel frame. That's false. Watch Blake through the whoops. So we discussed this before this camera started rolling. The length and overall numbers of Blake's bike is different from Cooper's machine. Yeah, our wheelbase is quite a bit shorter than everyone else's, I, I, I believe. I don't know exact numbers and stuff, but I know he runs uh, his wheel. Anytime we try to get the wheel back, he struggles with it. Real, like, just can't even hit the whoops. It's bad. And so uh, once we get the wheel up, it seems like it's night and day better for him. He wants it as short as possible. You guys watching this, you're like, shorter. That doesn't make sense, right? It's the whoops. You want it longer because you want more traction. You want it to be the wheel belts longer and the whoops to get more stability. But for whatever reason, this seems to work for Blake, and it shows on the track. His whoop speed is amazing compared to Cooper's. So Cooper's struggling a little bit in there, but you also said you guys stumbled across some new suspension settings for Blake. Um, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we just kind of found a – we think we might have been a little saw on the soft side for – when the whoops are sharp, like when the whoops had traction and they were round, he was absolutely crushing them. But at any time they got sharp and slick, he would he would lose drive about like third whoop in. He would start losing drive and get wheel spin. So we felt, went a little bit firmer and uh, and we left everything else the same. And and then once we put these engine hangers on, we were able to actually go firmer with the shock and he got better in the whoops. Like we tested him back to back and he was going faster in the whoops after we with this shock and these hangers. So we're going to see how it worked tomorrow. All right, let's talk a little bit about the differences as well. FMF exhaust versus Akrapovich. Um, obviously, FMF is a huge sponsor. Do you guys have different size muffler, cores, lengths? You guys go through that, or is he set on one thing throughout the whole year? Uh, usually, last year we ran a little bit different header outdoors, but uh, in Supercross, we, we've been running the same one all through. He likes it, but I, honestly, outdoors, I feel like we're going to end up on the same same header as Supercross is because the – we were running a little bit shorter header for outdoors, and it just wasn't as connected off bottom. But mid range, it was. He said it was night and day different. But I honestly feel like on the track and lap time wise, this is going to be better. So we're definitely going to 
test those again once we start going back outdoors. We talked a little bit about the suspension, but we talked also he likes his rear end a little bit high, right? Yeah, he, he's so short that he doesn't have the leverage like like the other tall guys do. So we uh, he runs his shock, his seg way high, like just to get that, just to get the front end bite that he's looking for. Also, too, we talked about Blake being on stock linkage. That is different as well from Red Bull. Up front, handlebar cockpit area is very important. Blake is a smaller guy as well. So let's talk about the ODI setup up front. Uh, he runs a McGrath bin, definitely rolled back. But like we're right about negative one on the on the dots. And uh, really that's pretty much, you know, he, he likes the X-Trick mounts. So those have good feel. We're on the softest green rubber inserts that you can get because he's small. So he likes, to, he likes to have that feel. He's, he's all about feel in the front end. He likes to feel what that front end's doing at all times. Do we talk about feel in this in this video today here in San Diego? The initial touch of the fork, right? So you have your your top of the stroke. A lot of these guys are talking about they want feel, and that's where they get it. They want that initial touch, that traction, that front end bite, that contact patch that is so important for a rider to be able to move around on the track. So when you talk about these mechanics saying my rider wants feel, that is what they, they want to really hone in on is the initial part of the stroke is a little bit softer and then progressively just gets very stiff so they can slam into things. Okay, last thing I kind of want to touch a little bit about is the seat. It's pretty cool. Seat concepts, obviously military appreciation night, Saturday night, digital camo. You guys can't see it right now, but you'll see it here in a little bit. The air box is a different color. It's pretty cool. And Baggett's names on the seat, camo, Pretty cool job by C Concepts. Yeah. C Concepts always makes the coolest stuff for anytime we need something one off, they they give us whatever whatever we want. And actually, they we just give them full reins to do pretty much whatever. We'll send them a graphic scheme and then they come up with whatever they want, they send it and it's always super sick. So And you're on ETS fuel? Yep. And that is a KTM deal, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, that's all KTM and Husky. I think they we all run the same fuel, so I had ETS fuel in my garage one time and Heather got really mad at me because it stank up the whole house. So I am not allowed to have ETS fuel anywhere near the home. So, and when you guys walk in the pits and you get that sweet smell, that's ETS. That's what you're smelling, right? Yeah. All right. Blake Baggett tonight, San Diego, going to be really cool. Um, make sure you go by the Rocky Mountain ATV MC KTM rig. These are friendly dudes. You go around the paddock, these mechanics, they're cool dudes. They smile. This guy right here, Gave me no problems. Just came in, hey, want to do your bike? He's like, yep, I do. I'd let you ride if you would have brought your gear. Have at it, dude. Hey, Will. Press day. Yeah. Hey, Will. Number four. I can ride number four's bike. What do you think about that? 19, too. Take it, take it. Oh, 19. Hey, Will. No problems over here. What's going on? We don't know. See you guys. All right, guys. Sitting on Blake's bike. Um, Actually, the rider triangle for how short Blake is, it's pretty damn comfortable. I just noticed ASV front lever. He pushes his clutch lever and the perch assembly really far in on the handlebar unique but when sitting on it the placement for my index finger is very nice so no problems there i like that obviously um i've been talking about throttle play blake likes to have a little bit of throttle play which is unique so far today a lot of these guys have no play i like blake's setup here and just fyi blake's front brake is pretty far in very far in i don't know do you know offhand what blake glove size is uh small for sure extra small please. extra small blake you can barely get them on. zach blake small dudes but overall cockpit very nice um throttle super smooth love that feeling the lever shape also i really like i'm really picky with lever shape so blake seems to like his lever similar to me and also for the low bend bar it fits this cockpit well i do notice like we talked about earlier in this the butt the rear of the machine is high. And guys, let me tell you something. For, you, for, the, <laughs> for you guys wondering at home how stiff this stuff is, to you told me feeling. You lied. No, it does have a little feel up there, but I think you got to be going a little bit faster to get that feel. Holy mother. It is stiff, guys. Look at If I was even, there's a pebble on this concrete. I'll feel it. So, man, when they talk about feeling, they must really want a stiff setup, but a little bit. When I'm pushing down on this front end, it moves just a little bit. So that's the feeling that they're getting out there. But again, the butt of this bike, the rear of the bike is high feeling, nose down, 
that's gonna help this thing carve and corner. Watch Blake tonight when you guys uh, are in here in San Diego. Watch him how he carves down inside of these berms. These berms have ruts, right? And they'll get deep, deep, deep. And then pretty soon you see these guys carving on the floor, on the off of the berm. It's insane. And they'll carve 180 really quick. This bike seems to be set up for that. So very unique. Appreciate the time. Yeah, no worries. I'm happy to do it. Blake Baggett, number four.